Canada's on fire. It's been warm and dry. California has been cool and wet. It's not on fire. How often do we see that pattern shape up? And that's the opposite of what we usually see. That's according to John Saltenberger, the fire weather program manager for Fish and Wildlife. On Friday, he delivered a briefing to fire experts from the Bureau of Land Management, the Forest Service, the Bureau of Indian Affairs, and the Oregon Department of Forestry. The dramatic winter rains to our south have left parts of the state, namely the southeast, much wetter than normal for this time of year. So much so that crews in some areas, they haven't been able to do prescribed burns because the fuel is simply too green. But if you've been outside at all over the last couple months, you know that much of the rest of the region, it's been hot and dry. Couple that with the return of El Nino, which is hot ocean temperatures near the equatorial Pacific, and parts of Oregon, along with all of Washington, could be in for a warmer and drier start to the summer. And what that means is more risk for more big fires. I'm uh, putting most uh, all of Washington into above average potential for large costly fires as we move into the heat of July when fire season really kicks in. I'm also going to include southeast Oregon and northwest Oregon. Now, the ecosystems of the Pacific Northwest, they've evolved with some degree of fire on the landscape. In fact, some species depend on periodic burns. But what Saltenberger tracks is the areas that are ripe to see fires that burn way beyond what naturally occurs. So what this graphic is saying is that these areas are probably the prime regions where those optimum combinations of windy dry conditions, high fire danger, and ignitions all come together at the same time at the same place. Now, many of those factors are out of our control, but experts stress more than 80% of wildfires, they're started by people. And doing things like putting out campfires, disposing of cigarette butts, and not using equipment that can cause sparks, that can keep all of us safer as fire season ramps up. Back to you in the studio. All right, Kale, thank you.